Hi everyone and welcome back. It's me, Jessie. This is our day 18 video for Vlogmas and we are watching Kirk Cameron's Saving Christmas. So last week I watched the best rated made for TV movie and this week I'm watching the worst. Now this movie wasn't technically made for TV. It did have a limited release in theaters. Um, but you know what? It's It might as well have been made for TV because it is... It doesn't look great. Um, I already know I'm not going to particularly enjoy it. I saw the trailer and I was like physically cringing watching the trailer. Um, and I want to be, I want to preface this. This is, I don't have these feelings about this movie specifically because it's like a Christian movie about Christmas. That is not where this is coming from. This is coming from a very deep disdain of Kirk Cameron, specifically. So I can't, I just, it's going to be rough. Anyway, I'm going to put in the trailer, and I'm sorry. I apologize in advance for making you watch this. Um, but yeah, so here's the trailer, and then when that's over, I will be back to recap the movie and give my review. Do you ever feel like Christmas has been hijacked? Hey, uh, where's Christian? How's he doing? Is he okay? Oh, he's fine, really. He's just, he's just not into Christmas this year, that's all. By all the commercialism and those who want to replace Merry Christmas with Happy Holidays or Season's Greetings, whatever that means. You okay? This is not what Christmas is all about. Some want to pull down every manger scene and tell us why our favorite Christmas traditions are wrong. Newsflash, not in the Bible. That's a pagan idol symbol. It was the winter solstice. Jesus was not born in December. It's exactly what the Druids did. It's like a carjacking, but like of our religion. And guess what? Santa got in the car, kicked Jesus out, and was like, rolling, 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 and took, and took it. Isn't it time somebody spoke up? Everything you see inside there, it's all about Christmas. It's all about Jesus. <laughs> you love Christmas and you want it to be all about what it's all about. This Christmas, dive headfirst into all of the joy, the dancing, the celebration, the feasting, the imagination and traditions that glorify the true reason for the season. Join me and my family, and together, let's put Christ back into Christmas. Okay, so I've had a bit of an outfit change, because I'm going to my Christmas thing. But, okay, so, Kirk Cameron goes to a Christmas party at his sister's house, and his brother-in-law is all like, Christmas sucks. <laughs> Not Christmas sucks. This, this party sucks. And Kirk is like, what's wrong with your husband? And she's like, oh, he's just not feeling it this year. And he's like, do you need me to fight him? <laughs> like, I can settle down. So he goes and he talks to the brother and the brother or the brother-in-law. And the brother-in-law's like, well, it's just like this Christmas seems so fake. Like it's so commercialized. It's so fake. So like, you know, it's Santa and it's presents and it's the Christmas tree that we stole from the, the Druids and the Pagans and blah, blah, blah. And Kirk proceeds to take each of those points and like prove that all of those things are like Christian Christmas things which like I I think I misjudged the audience that this one was intended for so like sorry the the recap so 
he goes through and like there's all these like flashback scenes so like he talks about the nativity and like the manger and the birth of Jesus and so you flash back and you like see stuff um and he like focuses on the swaddling cloth it's it's very bizarre and then um they talk about Santa like Saint Nicholas and they go back and they talk about Saint Nicholas and he talks about the trees and how like we took that from the pagans and he's like no we didn't that's like a Christian thing and oh my god sorry so like they do that they do all these like flashback scenes of like whatever and at the end of it of course the brother-in-law was like oh my god you're right I didn't see it this way and Kirk was like I know you drank the Kool-Aid you drank the anti-Christmas Christmas narrative <laughs> so he's like you need to go back in there and be the best Christmas celebrator <laughs> so the brother goes back in and he like does all the things that you do at Christmas parties and like oh at one point right in the middle this this leads into my review so at one point right in the middle um, there's like these two guys sitting on a couch and they have like this conversation about the war on Christmas but it's very clearly from a perspective that the war on Christmas is like a conspiracy theory like he starts listing off all these crazy conspiracy theories while he's talking about the war on Christmas um so I was like that was what I was like I don't this movie is not what I thought it was so yeah, I don't know. It was so bizarre. It was such a bizarre movie. I don't understand. Anyway. That's it. I mean, if you watch the trailer, you watch the movie. Like, that. it is what it is. Anyway, review. So, like I said, I misjudged who this audience was, I think. Because I was under the impression that this video, this film was for like non-practicing Christians or non-Christians like trying to con convert them almost or like trying to win them over to like celebrate Christmas as like a Christian holiday. Mm -hmm. Um, But like it's not. The audience of this film is Christians. Like it's Christians who have started to question the modern day celebrations of Christmas. So like it's it's for the the ones who see those things. Like the fact that we took borrowed, we borrowed a lot of the traditions from like pagan religions to make it more appetizing for those people to like come over to our religion. Like I just I don't know. It was, I don't understand. So, overall review, this is not what I thought it was. There were points in this movie, and God help me. God help me. I was agreeing with Kirk Cameron. Gross. Like, that just feels gross. It feels gross to say that. Um... I don't know. I don't know, guys. This was a rough one. If you have, like, 70 minutes to spare, <laughs> I mean, feel free. But I'm going to not recommend this to most people. It was a hard watch. It was a long one. <laughs> but I don't know. It was so strange. Like I said, it just wasn't what I thought it was. And, like, I don't, again, I don't inherently disagree with Christian-based Christmas films. This one was just so bizarre. I, I don't know. Anyway, you should watch Holiday in Handcuffs. That's what you should do. You should watch Holiday in Handcuffs. Okay, so that's it, I guess. I don't really know what else to say. This was very strange for me. I'm going to go and dance my butt off at a Christmas social. So you'll be seeing this the next day when I'm recovering from dancing my butt off. But I hope you enjoyed it. 
Um, and I think we might should, we'll have to do more of these. I think we'll have to do more of these. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.